Joe Biden is trying to get us all killed. This man, this senile motherfucker that needs to be in a nursing home is trying to send the United States into a possible World War III with Europe. That is something that we cannot have right now at this time. It is crazy the fact that he would allow something of this disastrous magnitude to happen. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm about to put you guys on. Biden has allowed Ukraine to use U.S. arms to strike inside Russia. This is from Reuters. President Joe Biden's administration has allowed Ukraine to use U.S. made weapons to strike deep inside Russia. Two U.S. officials and a source familiar with the decision said on Sunday in a significant reversal of Washington's policy in the Ukraine-Russia conflict. Ukraine plans to conduct its first long-range attack in the coming days, the sources said without revealing details due to operational concerns. The move comes two days before President-elect Donald Trump takes office on January and follows month of pleas by Ukraine President Zelensky to allow Ukraine military to use U.S. weapons to hit Russia military targets far from its borders. The change comes largely in response to Russia's development of North Korea ground troops to supplement its own forces, a development that has caused alarm in Washington and Kaivab, a U.S. official and a source familiar with the decision said. Zelensky said in the evening addressing that the missiles would speak for themselves and I quote, today, many in the media are saying that we have received permission to take appropriate actions, end quote, he said. Quote, but strikes are not made with words. Such things are announced. The White House and U.S. State Department declined to comment. Of course they fucking did. There was no immediate response with the Kremlin, which was warned that it would see a move to loosen the limits of Ukraine's use of U.S. weapons as a major escalation. Vladimir, I don't know how you pronounce his last name, first deputy head of Russia Upper House International Affairs Committee said Washington's decision to let Kaivov strike deep into Russia could lead to World War III. Quote, the West has decided on such a level of escalation that it could end with Ukrainian statehood and a complete ruins by morning. Uh, Adrian, a censor member of the Federation Council, Russia's upper chamber of parliament said on a Telegram messaging app. Ukraine's first deep strike are likely to be carried out under ATA CMS uh, rockets, which have a range of up to 190 miles, 306 kilometers, according to the sources. While some U.S. officials have expressed skepticism that allowing long range strikes will change the war's overall trajectory, the decision could help Ukraine at a moment when Russian forces are making gains and possibly put Kyiv in a better negotiated position when and if ceasefires talks. This right here is completely and utterly fucking stupid. Putin had said so many times that if a missile was to be launched by the United States or any NATO ally, he, that would declare World War III. And he said that multiple times. Now we're about to see if this man is really bluffing or is about that action or not. Because they have struck down missiles in fucking Russia territory. Putin said if you do that, we are going to declare World War III on you or any of NATO allies that will help you. What has the United States have been doing for the past two, three fucking years or whatever, how long it's been? They have been funding Ukraine in its war against Russia. They have been given weapons of mass destructions and missiles to Zelensky and Ukraine. So, of course, that's going to put the United States in direct fire of that conflict. Why would Joe Biden allow that to happen, reversing a policy that he said that he would not do to further escalate a situation when he needs de-escalation? This man is so fucking senile and needs to be put in a nursing home. But it probably wasn't Joe Biden's orders. It was probably Kamala Harris's orders. Because you know what? Joe Biden is probably sleeping somewhere right now or on vacation, not doing his job. He only has about two months left in the White House as president. 
So who really is running the fucking country? We have not heard a word, a press conference, a statement from Joe Biden on this dumbass decision. Where is the, 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 the armed forces? Where the fuck is the Department of Defense for the White House? No comment whatsoever. Why would you allow something like this to happen? And guess what? They're not going to send their own kids or themselves to war to fight a battle, to fight a conflict that they help aid rise in tension. They're going to send your kids, any 18 to 25 year old, they're going to force you guys out to go fight in a war that they could have easily helped de-escalate so many times. But no. When Trump gets into office, the Democrats, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris gave him a mess, a load of a mess that he has four years to clean up because this right here is some bullshit. Holy mother of, oh Lord, this is awful. This is bad. I hope, we are hoping and praying Putin does not respond back. He has every right to do so. But knowing the type of person and the perception of the type of person that we think Putin is, he's not going to take this too lightly. Now, here is a report from the Sky News talking further in details about this missile strike attack on Russia territory. Let's take a listen. Oh, well, let's just bring you a bit of breaking news coming uh, from the Ukraine-Russia conflict. Um, there's been a lot of discussion about uh, the use of these Atacams missiles uh, that the Atacams. US uh, okay. has provided for Ukraine and allowed them to use inside Russia. Well, we're hearing uh, from Russian sources the debris of one Atacams missile fell on the territory of a military facility inside Russia in the Jesus. Bryansk region. Jesus. Um, this is coming from the Russian Defense Ministry via RIA. Um, the Russian anti-missile system apparently downed five out of six of these missiles. Oh, um, Lord. And the Russian not Defense good. Ministry says Ukraine hit Russia with these missiles. Uh, let's bring in our security and defense editor, Deborah Haynes, who joins us from Rio de Janeiro, where the G20 is taking place. Um, Deborah, the fact that we knew that Ukraine were going to be able to use these missiles in a slightly different way, uh, was certainly with a further reach, this perhaps comes as no surprise. Um, the fact that Russia says that these missiles have been used, can we believe them here? Well, the Ukrainian, um, the Ukrainian military said earlier today that it did launch an attack uh, against uh, Russian targets in the Bryansk region. They have not confirmed the use of these army tactical missile system, attack and ballistic missiles, the weapon system that the US has supplied to Ukraine and has now given permission to Ukraine to use beyond its borders inside Russia. But that should be no surprise. What benefit does it give to Ukraine to confirm the use of these weapons? The only uh, way that they want to demonstrate their use is by actually firing them. So it is worth listening to what the Russian Defence Ministry is claiming. And according to Russian reports, it's saying that the, the Ukrainians have fired six of these Atakum missiles into Russian territory, claiming that five were shot down. Uh, one, therefore, clearly got through. It'll be interesting to understand the, the extent of the damage caused by these missiles. But the actual tactical use of the systems is one thing. The strategic response from Russia could well be another. You have the Russian president up until now warning the West of dire consequences should the US, or the UK for that matter, grant you, the Ukrainians the permission to use these longer range uh, missile systems. Uh you see what I just said? He warned the West, hey, do not escalate this situation or I will go to war with you motherfuckers. Don't turn up the temperature, bring it down. Donald Trump has said multiple times his very first step when he gets into the White House, he's going to make a call to Zelensky. He's going to make a call to Putin and end this proxy war once and for all. There's too much bloodshed that has happened. But no, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris and the Democrats, they love war. They are war hungry, evil, elitist motherfuckers. Two days, two months, excuse me, before Biden is set to leave offense, he want to do this stupid ass shit. This is all calculated this is purposeful you can't make this stuff up and we are now waiting to see if
Putin is going to stand on his promise or is he bluffing? But knowing the track record that Putin has, we do not want to go to war with this motherfucker. Not that we can't handle ourselves, but damn it, we in a fucking recession here in the United States. We in inflation. Gas is killing us. Grocery bills are too high. Rent, mortgages, car payments, car insurance. People are just trying to pay their own damn bills. We don't want to worry about or have to have the stress of going into a fucking war. Do people realize how expensive war is to fund a war? It is ridiculously expensive. You think that 35 or $36 trillion deficit is high? That shit is going to shoot to $50 trillion in the span of two years. Going to war is expensive. The reason why we in such debt, especially, was because of the war that we had in Afghanistan after 9-11. The U.S. saying, we don't want to go into war right now. That is not what we're trying to do. We can if we're forced to, but we do not want to do that. Joe Biden and the Democrats and the elites, they are war hungry. These motherfuckers are so damn stupid and evil, ignorant and elitist. You can't make this shit up. Why do we have to have conflicts with other countries? Like, what the fuck? We have shit that we make in Russia that Russia imports stuff to here too. We import shit to Russia. We ain't trying to go war with these motherfuckers. Russia needs some of our stuff. We need some of Russia's stuff. That is the worst thing we could do just two months before the new year. I don't understand. I don't think people grasp how bad this can possibly be. This is nuclear bad. Nuclear bad. For the US, it sees it as the attack and ballistic missile. For the UK, it's the Storm Shadow cruise missile. That should they grant that permission, that they are playing with fire, huh. that they could trigger a, go a global conflict. And it's no coincidence, therefore. Not to mention, too, um, I think it was like one politician that when Joe Biden was mean Zelensky, he signed, he fucking signed one of the missiles. You can't make this stuff up. You literally can't make this shit up. He signed it. You're signing a weapon of mass destruction that is possibly going to land in another territory where there's like, hey, do not make this any hotter than it is. They're trying to de-escalate. You're trying to escalate the situation. We see who's all about war and who's all about peace. And it's definitely not Joe Biden, not Kamala Harris, not the Democrats. The Russians today are uh, announcing or finalizing what was already in the planning, this lowering of the threshold of when Russia would consider using nuclear we weapons in response to an attack. Under this updated doctrine, um, the Russian military could resort mm. to a nuclear strike if the country is under conventional attack um, and which is a lowering uh, with, with for example the kinds of missiles that you're seeing at the moment which is a different change of words before the, crazy, the caveat of crazy. when a nuclear strike a nuclear retaliation would be considered by russia was in response to a nuclear attack or a conventional attack that threatens the very existence of the state um, of course we know and British and American officials repeatedly say that, uh, that that Russia does not want a nuclear war because there would be no winners. But you hear that Russia themselves says we do not want a nuclear war under any circumstances because there will be a lot of casualty, a lot of bloodshed that is unnecessary. But we will if we have to. And I'm, and I'm not here trying to be a fucking Putin defender. We know this motherfucker's a dictator. But if he's even saying we don't want a nuclear war, do not make it hotter than it needs to be. Do not escalate the tension that it needs to be. And you do this shit. You do this shit. The United States gave you the okay to do this. You're just like, oh, so you really testing my gangster now. That's what Putin is thinking. He said, oh, these motherfuckers are testing my gangster. Oh, Lord, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I don't think, again, people understand how bad this can possibly be. We are literally praying that Putin does not declare World War III on us as we're about to transition from one president to the next in the coming new year. This is awful. And, and last time before, I want to say this too. There is no true winners in wars. There's going to be a lot of bloodshed, a lot of dead bodies for no fucking reason. That's why countries, nations would rather have peace, would rather sign peace treaties than go into war unless they seriously have to. But they don't want to do this. 
fucking, if you did a survey poll, I bet you 100% of the population in the United States of America does not want to go into war. Not that we can't defend ourselves because we can, but we don't want to. It's not a priority for us right now as we have shit in our own soil that we have to deal with first. We ain't thinking about blowing people up. We thinking about making food more affordable and making finances go longer than it needs to be in this dreadful economy. But you want to bring this shit up. God, what the fuck? What the fuck, Biden? What the fuck, Democrats? What the fuck, Kamala Harris? What the fuck, White House? And worrying, well, but obviously unsurprising development. Yeah, and then that's just the whole report because it was going to be more better and easier for you guys to read it from another news channel or from a official news channel just to for me to just continuously read, you know, a long page article. But I don't think people understand how far and how bad that most strike will be. Take a look at this animation that somebody made off of YouTube or off of YouTube or Twitter. I got off social media of this missile animation that would have destroyed Kaivab. Look at this right here. Again, look at this. They're going to blow. Go in. You see how far 64.2 kilometers is. Look at this. 64.2 kilometers. The air blast radius would reach up to 54.6 kilometers followed by electromagnetic wave of ionizing radiation that would reach up to 6.99 kilometers. The fireball would expand to a radius of 7.92 kilometers and would last for around 35.7 seconds. The total number of deaths by such a blast would amount to 2,412,050 people. Yeah, so uh, we don't want to go to another war. That's not what we're trying to do. Uh, there needs to be peace between Ukraine and Russia, some type of compromise, but there's just too much bloodshed. There needs to be an end to this proxy war once and for all. Two months can't come by faster enough. It can't come by fast enough because this is just getting ridiculously, utterly crazy. But let me know what you guys think about this. What you guys think about, you know, Sky News reporting this. Do you agree, disagree with my commentary? Leave your comments down below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I will catch you guys later. Deuces.